Okay, first up, the Klein Tools MM2000. Again, 1500 volts, 100 microsecond full width half height, 2 ohm source impedance. See how much this thing resets. Well, the display is knocked out. It's actually counting something here. It's a little difficult to read, but it's not like it's fully turned off. Yeah, when it resets like this, it makes it very difficult to test the meter. I can't really run this through all the modes. You can see it's like the display. It's doing something. It's definitely not like all the way shut down. And the only way you can reset it is turn the thing off and back on again. Yeah, I don't know why negative transients seem to upset it more too. Hmm. Hmm. Here we have the Tech Power TP40. if you can hear that. That's the meter clicking. Here we have the Radio Shack.
Here we have the Hold Peak HP760H. And here we have the AM probe. This is the AM530. The Fluke 107. In the Bryman 869S.
that's it we'll go ahead and functional test all these and let's see which ones passed and which failed so here's the tech power tp40 and currently it's in resistance mode and i'm going to short out the two inputs you can see it's reading uh, 19 meg open them up it does go to open this is with a uh, 10 meg ohm resistor on here see it's reading very high also in DC mode this is again applying our 17 volt source here you can see it's reading about uh, 9.6 in an AC mode this should be about uh, 15 volts you can see it's reading about 8.3 now this would be a hundred nanofarads of capacitance it's no longer able to read it yep. See the continuity test still works. Frequency still works. Hmm. Temperature still works. And definitely uh, got damaged, but definitely was damaged, but still kind of working. Well, here's the Amprobe AM530. Currently, you see it's in ohms mode. It's got a 10 mega ohm resistor across it. You can't lock to it. So let's try a uh, 1 meg. Hundred K. good 10k that's good 1k looks good 100 ohm it's good and 50 ohm that's good Continuity test seems to work. Diode mode seems to work. It's a hundred nanofarad. It's a one nanofarad. Notice here in the uh, AC volt mode, so this should be about 15 volts. And then DC mode should be about 17. And so we've definitely done some damage to the front of this thing. Let's try it in uh, temperature mode. seems to work okay yeah so it's got some problems it's definitely degraded but uh, yeah it's still kind of working well I didn't test the uh, fluke 101 because I know it'll survive this test uh, this is quite a bit lower voltage same full width half height as what I ran this meter to before so I have no doubt that this meter had survived this test but Remaining out of the group, this is all we have left. So we have the Radio Shack, the Klein Tools MM2000, the Bryman 869S, the Hold Peak HP760H, and the Fluke 107. 
Again, these meters here are all sort of working still. They all have some issues, but uh, they could be used for some stuff. I know when I damaged the Fluke 87V, people were saying, well, you know, you only damaged the one feature, so uh, the meter's still kind of usable. To me, they're damaged. Uh, I want a meter that's going to be robust and not get damaged. So that's what I'm looking for. But we'll go ahead and uh, continue to test these. But these are the ones that we're focusing on along with our Fluke 101. 